in making art, one needs to go to the place that they're most afraid to be. Where the answer is unknown. And it's at that place that discovery happens. I wasn't a very verbal child, but I had a tremendous amount of varied feelings that I could address in a ballet class. Okay, lift and up on point that you were expected to rise above what you could do naturally okay. and to reach up. Okay, envelop. And ballet denies the existence of gravity, so all the movement is vertical towards heaven. I was enthralled by that. It wasn't so much what I could do, it was what I watched other people being able to do. And without words, the feelings that it generated in me were tremendous. Dance is a very pure visual form. You're looking at the human body in its most heroic manifestation. And yet, you very quickly learn that it's a language, that there's a structure involved, and that you need to focus and listen to the music. Paint, by itself, wants to be led. I make the paintings from the inside out, from my inside out. The hardest thing about painting is not what you put in, it's what you leave out. And I think my lifetime of painting has been about trying to say it simply. Although there are many complicated things going on, the base of my best paintings is a simple shape. It's the not knowing, it's the unanswered question that keeps this such a compelling thing to be involved in. Even after all this time, it's deeply satisfying to try to make something from nothing. The poetry in painting has to do with not how well you paint the object or the figure or the mountain, it has to do with the space between things. The space in between, the air. That's where the potential for poetry happens.